Welcome back, guys. Zach, man, doing another video update on Micro Profits FX. Hopefully, everybody had a nice little weekend, little break. Sorry, I didn't get a video posted uh, sooner. A little late night last night. Uh, it was Deer Hunter opener weekend, so I was busy uh, with that. And the football game was on uh, Sunday Night Football, so I had to watch my Vikings kick some butt. Anyways, back at it. So today, we're going to look at, uh, well, let's look at last week. So last week, um, well, we didn't really end in profit, but we didn't really lose either as far as the blow the account goes. But um, again, we uh, deposited uh, about $13 to start the week off on the 3rd. Um, got a nice little uh, profit on the Euro Cat. Could have a little bit more, but um, that's when the news broke up. But anyways, uh, so we had a nice $5 winner there, negative $2.74 winner, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but anyways, when we get down to it, the initial tally was a uh, profit of, actually, no, sorry. It ended on $6.48 with a negative loss of six fifty two. dollars um, So we didn't really, like I said, we didn't blow the account, but yet we didn't make the account either. So we just kind of lost about half of it, let's say. But um, so not very positive on that end um, at all. So, yeah, but we'll get there. Like I said, one day at a time, you know. Last week we... Or the week before that, we blew it. This week, we kind of lost a little bit, but we're getting there. So, let's look at, um, let's go back just to this week. So, today is the 11th, actually, Sunday to now, pretty much. Um, so, nothing yet. I did deposit another $10.52, so we have a total trade balance of $18.10 right now. And these are the trades that I'm in. We're going to kind of talk about those right now. Right now, we're in a profit of about $2.83. Um, but let's get to it. So right now we're in uh, USD uh, CHF. So we had some uh, divergence uh, right here. Um, so we went ahead and entered the trade uh, right at this candle when it uh, turned to the X there for momentum. And we have a top of the trend line. So we do have a little bit of support right there and resistance. Obviously we have major support and resistance up here. Um, so we go ahead and took a trade on that. We got a trend line kind of right there a little bit, but we got weak support. And then finally down here, we have our take profit. So um, right now I drug the, the um, stop loss uh, to pretty much break even point. So if it does go back, we're not going to be losing nothing on that one. Um, but if we take a look here, we are about almost 400 pibs in profit right now, which is pretty positive. So we're going to kind of watch that. Um, yeah, so we have a good trade there going on. And then we also have uh, from last week, let's look at, uh, there's one thing I wanted to look at. Let's go back to this thing so we can kind of see um, the one thing that kind of messed me up. Let's just go like this. This is the worst trade, and this is one, this one right here. Uh, JPP or JBP CAD. Let's go find that so we can kind of, so I can tell you what went wrong. We got to learn from our mistakes. Okay, there we already have it up, I guess. All right, so obviously you can see right here where's where I entered. And up here was a little red little red thing right there. That's the stop loss. That was where it was placed. And right there is obviously where it stopped out. So entered here. <coughs> and uh, basically what happened was is I believe it was this one. They kind of see how this one went up. So I think my initially my stop loss was a little bit further up, but I or maybe it was up here. I don't know. It was a little further up, but then I I brought it down to obviously right there, which I shouldn't have. I should have left it a little bit further because when I looked at it, when this was happening, um, I looked to see where initially where it was, and it was like it was close, but it never would have touched, and we would have been right because then it would have went back down. And if that would have happened, as soon as it got down to the next candle, I'll, my plan was just to break even or a lot better than what it was. But unfortunately, it did not happen. So um, that's what made us take a loss there because, as you can see, it eventually went up. But um, after it touched the trend line down here, so and then it hit the channel line up there, and now we're kind of back and forth pretty much. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of the, the mistake we made, or I made there, I should say. Uh, but again, you just got to kind of learn from those mistakes because I know the support, when I was looking at this, there was a, a support line, um, which obviously it's cha it changes every time it, the price went up or whatever. But um, it was, I had this above it and then I drug it below it just in case it only touched the tip. Usually I try to give them a little pebs above, um, but I drug it down when I saw this uh, bull candle here. I was like, yeah, which again, I shouldn't have, uh, you know, that's why you got to stick to what you, what you plan. Don't monkey with things. So. Um, little mistake there, but we'll learn as we go here, right? So, all right. So continuing on, um, let's look at 
the USD GPY and then look at the CAD GPY real quick and then uh, call it a day. Um, so right now we're in a sell. And this is actually carried over from Friday is when I got into this. Um, obviously, we have divergence right here. Um, and then we have on the daily uh, chart, we actually have triple divergence. So this is the reason why I really entered into this because you could see a potential downtrend all the way down here. So I'm going to uh, be kind of watching this one. But um, I entered uh, on the third one. So right here's the divergence on the third day. So this is uh, on Friday. The candle right here is where I entered. And obviously right here is today's candle, which it should print the getting close to. Yep, it should print the next one soon. Um, but anyways, so we entered that one. And right now we're in a sell. So it's triple divergence, which is a pretty good sign there. And obviously we hit the top of the trend line of the end of the channel. So we should see it dropping down any time now. So the only thing that we don't have is it below the momentum right now so we don't have any momentum really given her but um we'll kind of keep an eye on it like i said so as of right now we're in profit on that and then we have cad uh, jpy uh, which we're not really in profit right now but i entered the reason why i entered on this one was because of the trend line um on the hour chart or i'm sorry yeah it was the hour chart i believe well you can't see it now but uh so right, right here, this purple line, or pink, whatever you want to call it, um, it closed below it, and then I waited for the second candle to make sure, and that closed below it. Um, and then I entered there, because obviously it's looking like a, a sell move, and the channel's kind of closing up, so it's kind of tightening up with the channel there. Um, and then we have a nice little trend line right here, and then we have this one right here, so we'll kind of keep an eye on that one. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be too big of a loss. It's like... 403 pibs or whatever so nothing too terrible but we're going to kind of keep an eye on it. i might just uh close it out soon we'll see what uh, what happens around eight o'clock see where the candle prints hopefully it uh, goes below it but if not uh you can uh close it out that one but it did hit the channel up here so we're kind of bouncing hit up there and now it's kind of bouncing back down so you know depending on what it closes out of this one but it could see a little bit of down and then go back up so we're gonna be watching that one as well so all right guys thanks for watching go ahead and subscribe um hit the ding or the bell so that way you guys get notifications right away don't forget to join the telegram so that way you get instant uh notifications of the trades that i'm taking um and like i said this week uh is gonna be a little bit more profitable hopefully so we'll kind of get her going here so we start the week off right with micro profits fx all right thanks guys have a great day